The Autism Society of Acadiana needs your help to raise more than $9,000 for project Keep Our Kids Safe. This society will receive a grant to purchase GPS tracking devices if they can match the amount before the end of the year. Chris Welty finds out how the GPS tracking will help families. Jonah used to be a runner when he was two until he was about four or five. He would run when he would get into uncomfortable situations. Stephanie Crelo's son Jonah has autism. She says like any parent, she worries about her son. Wondering and eloping is a huge problem for individuals on the spectrum because uh, anxiety tends to rule their world. So when they're feeling super anxious, um, sometimes flight will kick in and they just need to leave the situation. Crelo says it's common for kids who have autism to run. Because I missed you. You were trying to get to mom? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Because school takes a long time. Crelo is hopeful the Autism Society of Acadiana will be able to help ease the anxiety of families who have a child with autism. The Acadiana chapter is raising money to purchase roughly 80 GPS tracking devices and provide a year subscription to the service. And the way their tracking devices work is they hook to an article of clothing. Um, they cannot be removed. Mom or dad has a key um, that makes it to where they can come off. There's lots of different features, including um, text and email alerts if your child is not where they should be. The Autism Society says the GPS tracker could be a life-saving device. And as for Jonah's older brother, Lucas, he says it's his job and he's proud to take care of his little brother. I'm afraid he's going to run off and we don't want that. In Lafayette, Chris Welty, KTC TV3. If you would like to donate to the Autism Society of Acadiana, they're accepting donations at their office on Pinhook Road and on their website. We have the details over at KTC.com.